Hey guys, I hope this video finds you safe and well. Um, don't make it weird. I'm wearing this glove because I cut my finger and I'm being hygienic. So this recipe is for cornbread using pantry staples, which is awesome. And we're all looking for recipes that are going to use pantry staples right now. So this is a really quick, easy recipe you can make super versatile. You can put a bunch of different kinds of toppings on it. In my cornbread, I'm using polenta, which is basically like grits. Um, this is what I had in my pantry. And I've actually made cornbread many times with this. It becomes more of like a little bit of a cake and rises a little bit higher. But if you've cornmeal, right on. That works awesome because this is cornbread. How I make mine is in a pan like a little thing like this where the bottom comes out. You can use a regular old, um, you know, nine inch bake pan, whatever you guys have. Um, eight to nine inches is pretty good. So if you have one of those, use that. First, I'm gonna line this in a little bit of melted butter. And then this next step isn't really necessary, but I do it. This is parchment paper. And parchment paper makes baking super easy. So I just stick it in and it like sticks. So later it's really easy to lift the cornbread off. See, like that. And my oven is preheating to 400. And now we're gonna mix together all the good stuff, dump it in here and throw it in the oven for 20 minutes, 25 minutes, depending on how hot your oven gets. With this oven, usually my cornbread is done in about 25 minutes. Um, great, let's do it. We're gonna mix all the dry ingredients and then the wet ingredients, and then we're gonna put it in our pan. So dry ingredients, one cup of your cornmeal. I like weighing my stuff in a, a separate bowl so I can just kind of go like that. Gluten-free flour, you don't have to use gluten-free flour, but uh, I do. And this recipe tastes really good with gluten-free flour. We're gonna do half a cup of sugar. You can do less if you want. Some people do a little more. I don't love super sweet cornbread, so I just do half a cup. We're gonna do one and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Also, I find that when I make my polenta, the, the, um, instead of the actual just ground corn, it's a, it's a much milder flavor, so I add a little bit more salt. Then we're gonna do three teaspoons of baking powder. Okay, mix it up. See, this recipe is so easy. It's crazy. My kid is napping right now, and when she wakes up, she's gonna have cornbread and she's gonna be so happy. But this is something, because it's so easy, I can just whip it up while she's sleeping. Okay, rad. Cup of milk. One egg. and then five tablespoons of butter. I know that seems like a lot, but it really does make a big difference. And now I'm gonna put my glove back on because we're gonna mix this and then dump it into the thing. So annoying that I caught myself. It's, like, it's all like totally wrapped well, but... <sighs> Ready. You don't wanna over mix it, you just wanna mix it until it's blended. You don't have to use a whisk. I do just because it makes my life a little bit easier. Okay, you want to make sure it's all, make sure that egg is all blended in there. See that? Beautiful. Also with the polenta, it's more liquidy. It's not as thick as it is with just the regular ground corn. Okay, this is ready to go into the pan. This is awesome. So when you use a polenta, it becomes like a polenta cake. You know what I mean? 
the cornbread with just the ground corn is more dense. But my daughter likes it like this, so I make it like this. So it's all awesome in there. And then I'm gonna put this in my oven at 400, and after 20 minutes, I'm gonna check it. I'm gonna poke a stick into it and see if it sticks. And then we'll see what happens. I just know with this oven, usually it takes about 25 minutes. Just in case though, I always like to check after 20. So it's been 20 minutes. I can already tell it's not cooked. Yeah, so a wooden stick is better to test it. So I'm gonna put it in for another five minutes. I really like the golden brown. So what I'm gonna do is cover it with aluminum foil, which stops the browning, but lets it keep cooking so that it won't burn. Okay, the timer just went off. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, that looks good. It's also nice and firm. So that, and it's gonna continue to cook a little bit. This aluminum foil trick is great though. See, it didn't burn and I was able to cook it for about another five minutes. Yay. Wow. Look at that, perfectly cooked. That is beautiful. Mommy, cornbread. I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you know when I put up a new one. And I'll see you guys next time.